right here we are hole number nine um you know more or less you, you can see that i'm going to go titan ball i'm thinking right around six on the top spin somewhere around there and the, what the titan's going to do is hopefully you know keep it to where it will launch and still make it up to the fairway that's one of the main reasons that i'm not going to go kingmaker here so you'll see that you know we're just trying to get as much of that power on as we can similarly you know um you know especially if this wins down which it kind of is a little bit you know you could also alternate up and if i was to go you know for example season one this could be a good opportunity to just kind of season one this kind of right around the same amount of top spin and what this will allow you to do is just kind of extend that target to make sure that you get it up there <clears throat> um, but if that wins up you know in the tens um, for that Titan, you know, it's plenty. Even what we had was probably still plenty, but this will just kind of ensure that you get this up here and that you can keep this into the uh, range of the sniper easily. So it will, um, you know, be kind of beneficial. You can play either or. What, what this is going to allow me to do is it'll allow me to have a little bit of that extra... Um, A little bit of that extra range just to make sure and also wind reduction so instead of needing to play kind of maybe like a 10 wind on the second shot or a nine it'll it'll be a little bit lower you know if my opponent here has a nine i'm going to probably have an eight so it does just make the adjustment a little bit easier now typically we're going to be shooting down to a very low target here um so I'm going to do kind of a significant overplay here. So I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of plus 50%, just as kind of like an overplay. Um, it's kind of like a combination of elevation, downhill target, plus we need to overplay. So what I'm going to essentially do, instead of offsetting my guide, I'm going to put my guide at a specific spot on the green and then just overplay the rings. <clears throat> So here you can see Max Club is going to be up here. Um, you know, I'm kind of towards mid club a bit. So I might, you know, I might use kind of that mid-ish. I'm thinking like 11-ish rings here. Somewhere in the neighborhood of that. And, you know, I'll just try to land kind of up on the fringe here. Towards here. And the pull angle is going to be very important. So make sure that you're being very consistent with that, and as I mentioned, you know, I'm thinking 11 some rings. This is gonna be about maybe 11 and a half. So we're gonna go for this shot, right around 11 and a half rings. In this case, make sure that you're very centered in the shot surf, um, and, and you'll just have to kind of make modifications. As I mentioned, keep in mind that, you know, I'm essentially doing an overplay intentionally. And other than that, it's just gonna be, you know, wind effect um, is going to essentially be taken care of by overplaying rings. So you'll just want to figure out that perfect amount of, um, you know, pull angle that you use. So if I would have, for, for instance, if I would have rotated that needle just a little bit more and I would have pulled my rings just a little bit more left, that would have been all good. So, um, you know, it's really just going to come down to fine tuning and being very consistent with the way that you pull rings and the angle. So you'll just want to, you know, find a place that you're happy with, use that backstop there, and you should have a very good opportunity for albatross. So good luck with your rounds. Let me know how it goes. You know, you may want to be checking out the master guides as well, especially if you have kind of an advanced bag. Um, there is going to be, you know, definitely some makeable shots to where you can put up a decent number in master. Um, and if you can do that, you know, it's always better to put up a big number in master as opposed to being to doing that in, in expert. So you do have um, definitely some good opportunities, but I probably do recommend, you know, kind of an advanced bag. I'm thinking a POC 6, a POC 7 um, is going to be ideal for the ma master setup this go around. There's really um, some really tough par fives that if you don't have that uh, full range of top spin and everything, you're kind of hurting yourself on the par fives on this one. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Good luck with your rounds and uh, take care. See you guys next time.